dog. <laughs> yes, or this dog. <laughs> a fly. A cat. A cat. A, a squirrel. Mm. A monkey. Why would you be a monkey? Because they're cool. Um, a lion. A lion. A lion. <laughs> I would probably be a lion. Chat. A lion. A penguin. A bird. A tequil. A cheval. A monkey. A monkey. A beautiful horse. <laughs> An elephant. I like swimming in the sea, so maybe you see it, I don't know. Um, it's a hard question, but I think we should stop. Because, yeah, we have to think about the animals too, so... It's to ask this question, it's not me. No, it's not equal. I'm more against it. I... What? Because the ONGs have reason. <laughs> Very bad things to use animals in yeah. research. I don't like it. You don't like it? Yes. Why? Because it's not human. It's unhuman. But it depends on which animal also, in fact. D'accord. Ouais, c'est une petite souris, euh, ouais. ça me dérange pas trop. Dès que ça a une taille relativement raisonnable, ça me pose problème. Ouais, sur un chien, ça me fait... Donc un chien ou un singe, c'est différent. Ouais. Voilà. I fully support animal research um, testing. Why? Because uh, I eat animals and I think it'd be hypocritical not to, to be honest. I think that human life is more important than animal life. And so I support animal testing in medical research. Not for cosmetics, but I do for medical research. Um, the question is how it's necessary to, to, to use animals. I'll be honest with you, I'm a cardiac patient and I know it's wrong, but a lot of the research has helped me. I'm kind of torn between two, like the ethical side and I'm, I'm it's a very sensitive issue. The sticking point is the thing that if it, if it saves somebody's life and then do we have a, it's, 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 it's an individual, um, moralistic thing that's down to, I think it's down really to, to the individual person. I worked for the um, Department of Pharmacology in the University of Manitoba in Canada. So I worked with those animals and we used those animals. And what I saw, I don't know where anywhere else, but what I saw, the animals were treated very well. They were killed very quickly. And if you truly understand what it takes to get a drug to the market, you have to practice on something. You can't just take a new drug and practice it on a human. I mean, that could be devastating. I'm sure there is another way. By um, um, blue test on, on human, why not? <laughs> we can test on any other things. It is the, some parts of the animals that closely mimic our own anatomy. And so this is what we have to use. I, I am I'm, I'm sorry to the bleeding hearts for animals, but that's what we have to use. The first time I killed a rat, yes, it hurt. I mean, it hurt me inside. <laughs> but then when I saw what the drug tetracycline was doing for people and how it was helping people would not be possible unless we tried it on an animal first or an animal gut first. There is no alternative. C'est vrai que ça risque de freiner la recherche, quoi. Donc, ce euh, serait cool les avancées. Euh... Ouais, ça risque de poser un problème, quoi. Vous voulez trouver, je sais pas, d'autres alternatives I, I guess they would go elsewhere to do the testing. Qu'est-ce qu'on ferait Et euh, eh bien, à ce moment-là, on ne sortirait plus de produits euh, pour les patients qui sont en besoin thérapeutique. Um, a lot less drugs research, which, yeah, can't really be a good thing. Yeah, yeah I think it will, uh, it'll have, a, it'll have an impact on the scientific community, and it'll have a lot of impact on development. I'd have thought. We cannot uh, stop testing this kind of things before training the human beings. So we should start being less hypocritical. Uh, because if you do not do it here, it will be done somewhere else. Le domaine de la recherche clinique est quand même très contrôlé en Europe. Et je pense en, également aux États-Unis. Maintenant, effectivement, dans les pays euh, plus lointains, euh, ça, je ne peux pas le dire. Donc, euh, mais je pense qu'on a quand même un système euh, euh, avec des standards assez élevés. When I was young, very young, um, I came up through the time of thalidomide, um, where mothers took thalidomide, and we saw the results of that: babies with, um, you know, limbs, half limbs, etc. Not enough research was done simply not enough research was done. Had that been done further tested on animals, it probably would have shown.